came packaged with the fullness of our identity, of our purpose. Purpose is not something that you just so try to figure out from self or from trying to see what's out there, but purpose is something that comes from who created you. We've got to learn to live for the pleasure of our Father in heaven. We've got to learn to live a life that is worthy of the suffering of our Savior, Jesus. We've got to live a life where we can be friends of the Holy Spirit. There are things that God does for you in the moment of your surrender. He will meet you at the point of your surrender. He's going to meet you with peace amidst uncertainty. You have been called to be an extraordinary Christian. Where all those people get put in your path will always remember they experience the love of Jesus through your life. He said we are perplexed, but we ain't in no despair. We're persecuted, but we're not forsaken. Every single pain that he experienced, he balanced it out with the truth of God. Because when we suffer, God is with us. Some of y'all are going to get so much beauty that you're going to go back to the person that caused the burn and the ashes in the first place and say, thank you. Thank you for kicking me to the curb. Thank you for defeating and frustrating me. Thank you for everything you did, because if you had not have done it, I would not be where I am today. Thank you. Praise is a weapon. I will praise no matter what I'm facing. I will be victorious today. Maybe you've come in with a heavy burden. Maybe the spirit of heaviness is upon you. Let me tell you, this is the tool. If you have a heaviness and that you take that off and you put on praise and God will do the work. Amen. There's nothing you can do to rid yourself of the crown of thorns. Nothing. But Jesus through his blood, one drop of his blood and it's removed. He doesn't just take the rubbish away, but he gives something in its place. Mm -hmm.